What's up guys? It's your girl Joycelyn. You can call me Joy. Back with another video for Vlogmas. It is Vlogmas Day 12 guys. And this is the second time that I've said this today. Do you know why? I'm gonna show you the clip. And my intentions were of getting a whole- ah! I have to sum this up as quick as possible. What you just saw was me obviously freaking out because of a bird. It hopped on top of my car. I am petrified of birds. It's a phobia of mine. I am traumatized. I had several traumatic experiences as a child with birds. So I am scarred. Like I am traumatized. I am so scared. So anyways, while that happened, I was in the middle of explaining to you guys why I got rid, like I was summing up why I got rid of my old Christmas tree and why I was going to go to Walmart to get some white, um, what do you call those fluffy things that you put around the tree? Is it garnish? Anyways, it comes like different colors. So I was going to go to Walmart to get some white garnish for my new Christmas tree that I bought. Okay, so that's what I was explaining to you guys. First off, I was left a mess after that because I'm so traumatized. So I took you guys along with me, but I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to film when I get back home because I was just like, I was panicked. I was panicked and that's it. So anyways, here we are now. And let me explain. Long as day when I talk about it a little bit, I wanted to throw away my old Christmas tree because of you know the memories that were tied to it or whatever and i was just tired of for the last couple years putting up the christmas tree by myself um with it having like eight year memories of me not doing it alone if that makes sense i don't have to go into details y'all get it so i was like you know what i don't i don't deserve to feel this way i'm gonna go ahead and buy a new christmas tree so i had put it off but in my head i was like i want to throw it away long story short Christmas was coming, right? It was November. And I was like, I want to go ahead and just put up the old Christmas tree one last year. And then I'll go ahead and throw it away since I never threw it away. When I go to look for it, I can't find it. And then my son goes, oh, we threw it away. And I was like, oh, I did throw it away. Okay. So I, I you know, I accept it because I was like, that's what I wanted to do anyways. I wanted to throw, throw it away and start fresh with a brand new tree. So cool. I threw it away. All right, cool. So let me go ahead and buy a new Christmas tree. Let me buy a white Christmas tree that I've always wanted. End up buying a green Christmas tree. Don't ask, right? Okay end up buying a green Christmas tree. So I was like, that's why my plans were, I ran a lot of errands today, but one of those were Walmart to buy that white garnish so that I can feel a little bit fulfilled inside knowing that there was some white on the tree. So I ended up going to Walmart. I bought that white garnish, but I believe it's garnish. If it's nope. not garnish guys, I'm sorry. I've been saying it wrong this whole time. But anyways, I found the white garnish for my new Christmas tree that I'm gonna put in the living room. I come back home, I start looking for the ornaments because there were a lot of ornaments I was gonna buy some, but I was like, those I didn't wanna get rid of. I wanted to keep some some stuff, you know, that's like oldies because my kids have seen them and put up the balls, you know? So it's just, it's a lot, so whatever. So I go to look for them, couldn't find them, but guess what I found? It's in there. Christmas tree, the old Christmas tree, guys. I found it. Can you believe that? Can you believe that? First off, my son was like, no, we threw it away. And and after he said it, I was like convinced, like, oh, I threw it away. I don't even remember throwing it away. But then like slowly, like a couple days later, it was like, I could see it in my mind. Like, yes, you did throw it away. You don't remember stuffing the parts into the trash. And I can still see the picture in my head, me going downstairs and throwing away the Christmas tree and trying to stuff it in the trash. Like I see it, but it never happened. It never happened, like literally. So my brain went from, you wanna throw this Christmas tree away. Oh, I threw away the Christmas tree, okay. No, you didn't throw away the Christmas tree. So now I have two Christmas trees. So what I'm about to do right now, guys, I hope that that made sense. I know it was a lot of mumbo jumbo. When I was talking in the car, I didn't know that the Christmas tree was chilling at home. That was even before me going to Walmart. I was talking about the whole, reason for why i threw it away that's what i have 
right here and I'm gonna put it in the kitchen the new one how put it in the living room that's what we're about to do I'm tired I'm beat I am done for the day I'm definitely not putting up the new Christmas tree today I'm so exhausted this tree gave me some work you know it has eight years on it but plus um, one of the reasons that you know it did mean a lot to me was because when I got this tree there was only two weeks left till Christmas my son was two months old, so it was his first Christmas, and it was actually the display tree in the store. It was the last tree that was left. So, you know, I stayed home with the baby while it was searched for, and, you know, when I saw it, I was like, where's the box? And it turned out that it was literally the last Christmas tree left in the store, and so, it, you know, it was special to me because if we couldn't have gotten that tree, then we would have not had a Christmas tree for my son's first Christmas. So there's a story behind it. Poor little old Christmas tree. Anyways, guys, I will see you tomorrow. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, post notifications, and give this video a thumbs up. Bye.